gas. Everyone gets gas. In fact, this condition is so common that most people pass gas up to 20 times a day. And when gas isn't released through the rectum, it's released through the mouth. Gas can be mild and intermittent or severe and painful. Although symptoms can develop after eating or drinking, not all gas is food related. Sometimes gas is a symptom of a more serious problem. Gas can be uncomfortable, but it isn't usually serious. In most cases, symptoms don't require medical attention and improve on their own within a few minutes to a few hours. Why gas occurs? Gas can develop in your stomach or your intestinal tract. Gas in the stomach often results from swallowing too much air while eating or drinking. Gas in the large intestines develops when normal bacteria breaks down certain types of undigested food. Some foods are more easily digested than others. Certain carbohydrates, such as sugar, fiber, and some starches, aren't digested in the small intestines. Instead, these foods travel to the large intestines where they're broken down by normal bacteria. This natural process produces hydrogen, carbon dioxide, and sometimes methane gas, which is released from the rectum. Three types of gas symptom. Abdominal distension, bloating or tympanites, gas not pass out via mouth or anus. Eructation, gas pass out via mouth. Flatulence, gas pass out via anus. Abdominal distension or abdominal bloating also known as tympanites or meteorism is when the abdomen feels full and tight. It commonly occurs due to a buildup of gas somewhere in the gastrointestinal GI, tract. Eructation, also known as belching or burping, is the act of expelling gas from the stomach or esophagus through the mouth. Flatulence, also known as farting, passing wind, or having gas. Flatulence is a medical term for releasing gas from the digestive system through the anus. Excess gas in the digestive tract that leads to passing gas is called flatulence. The gas that passes is called flatus. People who have problems with flatulence may feel they pass too much gas or that the flatus has an unpleasant odor. The odor may be due to sulfur in the flatus. Abdominal distension, bloating or tympanites. A distended abdomen is abnormally swollen outward. You can see and measure the difference, and sometimes you can feel it. A distended abdomen can be due to bloating from gas, or it can be due to accumulated fluid, tissue, or digestive contents. Causes Drink sodas or carbonated drinks. Suck on hard candy. Chew gum. Smoke. Certain foods that can trigger. Brussels sprouts. Broccoli. Beans. Cabbage. Asparagus. Cheese. Bread. Ice cream. Milk. Artificial sweeteners. Potatoes. Noodles. Peas. Apples, prunes, peaches, soft drinks, wheat, etc. Food intolerance. If you have a sensitivity to milk, lactose, or gluten, 
your body may have difficulty breaking down these foods. You may experience gas or abdominal pain after eating foods containing these ingredients. Symptom of a digestive condition Gas is sometimes a symptom of a digestive condition. These include Inflammatory bowel disease Irritable bowel syndrome, IBS Gastroesophageal reflux disorder, GERD Ascites Coccidiosis Cystic fibrosis Diverticulitis Facialosis Gastroparesis Giardiasis Quashiorker Strongyloidiasis Whipple's disease, etc. Treatment For example, an over-the-counter, ODC, supplement containing alpha-galactosidase, for example, Bino, can help your body break down carbohydrates in vegetables and beans. Typically, you'll ingest the supplement before meals. Similarly, a lactase supplement can help your body digest the sugar in certain dairy products, thus preventing gas. If you're already experiencing gas, take an ODC gas relief medication containing cymethicon, such as Gas X. This ingredient helps gas move through the digestive tract. Activated charcoal may also relieve intestinal gas and bloating. But this supplement may affect how your body absorbs drugs, so speak with your doctor first if you are taking any medications. Probiotics are also used to treat bloating based on the theory that improved gut flora will improve digestion and lessen gas generation. When to see a doctor if gas only occurs after eating or drinking and resolves on its own or with the help of ODC remedies, you probably don't need to see a doctor. However, you should see a doctor for severe gas that's persistent or affects your daily routine. Also, see a doctor if other symptoms accompany gas. These symptoms include a change in bowel habits, weight loss, persistent constipation or diarrhea, vomiting, chest pains, bloody stools. Prevention Making dietary changes is an excellent starting point. Keep a food journal to identify foods that trigger gas. Write down everything you eat and drink, and then make a note of any gas symptoms. Next, eliminate certain foods from your diet one by one to see if gas improves, and then gradually reintroduce these foods one at a time. You can also prevent gas by swallowing less air. Here are a few tips to try. Drink fewer sodas, beers, and other carbonated beverages. Slow down when eating and drinking. Avoid chewing gum and hard candy. Don't use drinking straws. Give up smoking. <laughs>